Hey everyone, we're back again as we are ready for the second game here for tonight. We are playing here at Boston as the Canes have tied the series up 1-1 right where the Boston Bruins are played here for the first game with win and the second game of Canes with the win. But this is going to be a very, very tough and unique challenging. Well, let's see who has it the best right now because there is an opportunity chance here that we have it so far. Next commentator I can bring in here is Test 2. Well, Test 2, welcome to the game. And also, we want to share your, your thoughts here. How does it go along with the NBA? NBA's doing very good here so far. Hmm. I might be saying this could be a very uh, challenging idea to see what this calls for. Hurricanes and Bruins? Interesting to me. I like it this one. Well, <laughs> Good for you, because uh, we would like to uh, see how well you could just try to take the commentator as well. Were you, want, you were going to give a credit for that one? Uh, I, uh, I, I couldn't complain. Well, I'll just take credits anyway here, in between those two teams. But <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good idea anyway, so why not we give it a shot? Sure, you bet. I guess there might be something out there that we have. We have a Sebastian Argo, then we have his Jacob Slavin. Then it's Andrei Snetsikov here for the starting lineups here for the Crane Kings, the three players. And my side is Brad Marchand, Patrice Bergeron, and David Pasternak. Here to rematch things again, and we're ready to see who wins and takes the lead series here in Game 3, if it's in between Boston or the Hurricanes. Well, it's time to make them happen and make it roll. Let's get started! Here for the Eastern Conference of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. It's game time as we're about to be here at TD Garden Arena. It's the Boston Bruins ready for Hurricanes. The series tied. Let's see who takes it in front. And it's opening faceoff is taken here right at Boston to start things off. The puck is dropped and we are underway. Starting off is DeBrusque. He has played here for some couple games here, but the last time since they have been here in the first game. The alley, of course, is was even more even impressive and most better convenience that we have already taken. Mostly players of the higher average, but some of them may be having a, have a technique with their skills, and they may have some out going here on offense to give that one a shot. And it goes off the post, and this one was at the side. It was a tough one, saved me by Anderson. Now it's Slavin with the puck. Oh, what a great save by that now because you know that Anderson really gets a, gets a good puck and keep an eye on the control. Now they got some uh, higher average. There might be something going on that we've seen. Shot off and away as Turvey will take the rebound. He has scored his last time in here since the last game as their team has put up a 1-1 and then they tied it and then they broke things up here for starting for the second to the third game. How does it usually take here for Teravane to get them get them off of it? Well, I personally would have agreed if Teravane has a has another chance ability, they could have go for another attack. But there might be some uh, another way to get that through. And I think that if there's a player that they're looking for another uh, open pass, well, there might be some opportunity here, and they might go for another chance. Trocheck right in the boards, and we'll pick up that play as Hall will deliver a steal. Now I quickly move over to McAvoy. Passing the neutral zone in the attack. Pasternak's got it. Slavin takes a big hit. Caroline's got the defensive puck along the board. Nekos rolls over to Jarvis. Now goes back to Nekos. And he misfires across and this one will turn it on to go start from the beginning. Yeah, he misfires it across. That's what's going to be a pressure to take them off the ability. Might need to go for another idea. Pence, with the shot, stopped by the goals, and the puck has gone blocked. Moves that puck up here with the with the with the stick lift. Moves around the board. Goes right to the director. Moves it quickly over to Pence. Carolina Kings are moving the puck back and forth, watching the defenders. 
chest up, shot, denied by Olmark as he makes a pad save. Glove save, there is chance for Olmark. He may, he may go for another one here. Another bad pass look here for Boston. Now he moves along the boards. The Dreader up at the back. Puts it over to Cole. Moves right up to Marnook as they're still making some adjustments here on offense. The Dreader up. He scores! First goal for game three is Cole. And they have it in front. It's easy that you can tell that Cole is out there. In between his own heart attacks, he may now knows he's got a good one. And with the start of Carolina, as they have the lead up by one with the start, they got some uh, greater average out there. The first team C can be going for another trickier defender. Marinook right over to Cole. Moves right to Bear. Marinook to Cork Hammond. Now they reset it back for offense. With the drive off the target, it's on Allmark. Allmark really knows it. You just got to bet it out there. With a quick reaction, you're never going to uh, get there in time. Kortaman right back to Bear. He fires across. Hats off the goaltender. Coyos got it on the along the offensive boards. He was in a slot. Ryan stopped by Anderson as he goes with another save. Bear, bad pass, and we get a whistle here as this will be offside on Carolina. With the start of the first quarter, Carolina's got the first lead off here for tonight in game three and might be taking another angle sharp look. Ago's got it in the land. He broken up. But Slavin recovers the puck with a loose one. Now he gets loose in the puck again. Moves it quickly over to Nasex. Still check right to Snetsikov. He goes out of control looking for open mans out there. Boxes over to Falegno. Right to Nosek. Almost took it around across the angle board but still holds on. Bruins looking for an offensive end now on the attack. Carlo! Shot is off the goaltender. Goaltender really could be a very uh, tough wet angle. Maybe there might be a choice opportunity. I see it's the call on Carolina as we are almost about to be under midway at the first period. The pucks drop and they, and they have the win here right near the defensive zone. Ago, bad pass to Sinetsikov and it's Berger on with the, with the takeover. Yeah, takeovers can be very hard though. Not really, not really a good idea to go for the, uh, to go for the defensive work effort, but it's very going to be tricky to, uh, to get right under it. He missed fires and this one will have to go back to the other angle for Carolina. DeAngelo switches off to Slavin. Wrong the board, and it goes to Ago. He missed fire. It's almost been broken up again. Moves it quickly over to Snetsikov. The Kings put it along the offensive end in the board to the attacker. DeAngelo right to Slavin. With a shot. That's denied by Bergeron. Bergeron really knows that. He's got a great timing out there. He knows it right away. He likes to deflect it. Out the goaltender, and it goes back to Snetsikov. The Bruins take their offensive positions here on going back in offense. Debrusque inside, denied by D'Angelo. Almost took it with a stick lip, but still holds on the puck. Darain right into the offensive zone. Goes up. Denied by the goaltender. That's another one on Olmark. Still lots of time left here as we have some a little major technical difficulty here along with the camera battery percentage. But we're back under play. Icing is the call as it's now 6.33 left to go. Only one goal here for Carolina and nothing going on for Boston. 
In between the attack of the soul and the opinions, it's only the exact right of any moment. But a moment of that time can be very changing. Shot denied by Anderson. Never saved me by Anderson. Could be a little tough out. We got a little aggressive here in between Boston and Carolina as the bear claws to punch him down. Passes along the boards. D'Angelo reaches out to see up the offensive zone in now. Mitrider comes in. He takes a shot. It's the nine off the goal, off the player. Stall moves to pass. Back to Slavin. Slavin up. Resetting a save on Olmark. Just under a midway mark to go. It's now coming along the board there fast. Yeah, it is true. I'm, I'm thinking there is another change up here. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the most players are looking for another skills. They may have an, a higher skills here. And the average can be a little bit of overall rating. Scratch with the puck. Moves quickly to Jarvis. We're under five minutes left here in the first period. Now he gets me over to pass. Coyle takes the breakup pass. All alone. Passes. Rejected. And oh, baby, got a penalty going on. This is not going to look good. Not looking good here so far. We got to like take it easy on the control because what happens here? There might be some average out there. You got to like stick it out. And a fight is done. Frederick goes down, and it's Slav Sessi with the fight stoppage. They know that was going to happen. Those two guys were taking too much roughness. Fear the Bear and also the Canes, they got a huge ejectors. That is a lot of game working. Nearly almost halfway down to the first period, as it's also calling a penalty in between. And it's going with the fighting across. Fight off! Coil rebounds! And it's Jarvis with the save! Up any other angle. Carolina working their way up on offensive right around the boards. Haska! Shot the dice! Moves quickly to Nutkus. Coil moves over the pass with the shot! Denied by Omar, that's off the pad. This pad is like a huge changing. Not really sure what's going to happen for yours, but you really don't want to get caught off. Cole, shot is off the mark, and Smith takes a rejection. Moves it quickly over to Nakis. Foligno, oh, gets picked hit. Carlo with the, with the bad pass from Carolina. Now he moves back to Snetsikov. Boston Bruins gaining the momentum out there. Goes right to Abu, and it's Carlo with the rejecting broken up pass. I mean, you gotta make sure that you gotta make sure you, you gotta keep it in control. You gotta be careful of where you're gonna go for. Two on one opportunity gets up broken up. Bruins working their way around the offensive boards. Coming in to save the day is another one. They will have to reset things up here to start things pressure bower. Under a minute and a half to play here as this is the toughest matchup that the Bruins are trying to fight face a win. But this was a lot of hard, hard play. The average is not turning out there well. You know this... This really needs to go with a different plan option. There, there might be some choices. Some players don't get their thing right. Some players do get their right. Wow, the stop by pressure of Anderson delivers as the man falls down. Agos got it in the on defensive boards. Attacker in between here. Cole has it recovered. D'Angelo scoops it up and his shot has been taken out. Bergeron, and the board now, moves across, Marchand, stopped by the goaltender once again. This really does, does stand out, they really have done it out, with a lot of hard work. And the buzz sound has ended the first quarter, it's now a one nothing lead for Carolina to start the first period. We'll take a quick break, and we will get back to you right after this. 
second period underway as we're about to refresh the ice and get back in control. And the Bruins will take the face-off win in the second period. Glad you have us with us today. It's now a one nothing lead. Ogle delivers off to Snestikov. Riley comes up with a poke check. Riley dishes off to Marchand. Marchand going in from the board. Slaps off. Riley gets down by the defenseman. Yeah, there's, a, there's much hard works out there. There's a pressure. There's an attacking range. They really have something else to spare. To spare their time. Almost could carry it offside, but now Slavin resets it up as Carolina will have a second chance of tip, obtaining the, 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 the ice ring. Armark comes in with the pad with the save. So much of time left here as it's still one nothing leap game here for the Canes to be up here in the lead. They find a win for the faceoff. And he puts it in there! That's a goal for Carolina! Wow, Jacob Slavin, what a release! After face-off win, guess what did, did come out? That was a stout run! He, Ulmerk wasn't ready to get there, and with all that happened, it looks like it was carried out away. So Slavin did get his uh, timing, and that was going to be another hat-trick. But it was not even a slap shot. DeBrusque stopped by the goaltender. It's now off on Anderson. Arvis in the attacking zone in the, for the run. Moves back to D'Angelo. Moves across to Slavin. Almost gets poked away but finds D'Angelo. Moves back to Slavin. With the shot off the goaltender. It goes back out of play. The Hurricanes reset their position here on offense to give it a whirl. Oh, there we go again. This little fight is going to keep on happening. And it's not going to be a good idea because all that happens to yours, this is not turning out good. Most defensemen are giving him a hard time. When they need to go up with a, with a, with a save, they, they really wanted to go with the attack. They want to stop them. Gives it off to the dreader. Moves it quickly over to Nakis. Oh, he gets big down on the attacker. He is putting up a roughness. Almost called it with the penalty, but it didn't really uh, gain out momentum. Stall with the wall pass broken up. Bruins on the alone attacking along the board. Astronauts, Koyu, and it's stolen away by Pets. Pass getting along the board. Nedrutter, back to stall. Schneider, right over to pass. Gets lifted off with a stick clip, and it's Pastodox with the takeover. With the rebound, and fast will deliver it. Carolina's got the offensive in now on the offending board. Fast. Puts the pressure, and no pick up that play. Austin finding Gresslick. Now he moves quickly to Hall. Passing the neutral zone. Smith. Work away. Shot block. Anderson saving. And it's another one to go right back to pressure of the board. This really goes with the standout. Anderson, another one. I mean, in between the, uh, in between the uh, professional uh, goalies and sometimes the rookie goalies, this is turning out to be just a stay mistake that they have played. But no offense. They got their pressure on their own. Turin right back over as Canes are moving their way to puck along the, along the rope where they're finding man to mans Cole tacking in. Back in release. Soft by a goaltender by Olmark. And they will have a chance to catch their breaths as the play stops at 12.28 to go. We look at Seth Jarvis out there, getting a little uncomfortable. A lot of, a, lot of a strength out there. It could be in between the, the head and the, and the body. As right now the manager leads it off here as Jarvis will have to sit out for game three 
as he is out for the game. Number man advantage has another, another face-off win in the defensive zone. Keynes trying to stop the puck here as Lorenz will have it back. Almost took it off. Now Mordenuk will have to reset it here for the offense. They're still taking some time here as it's now 2-0 in the, in the game. Bergeron's got it along the puck aboard. Gets cooked. Great release out there trying to hold the man out the board. Katemini still in a pursuit. Slavin right to D'Angelo. Gets knocked away. Almost comes up with the loose puck. Moving puck to the back and forth for Kane. Still gets it going. Slavin up. Stop by the goaltender with a glove save. That's a great pressure here. Nice job by the goaltender of Allmark. He now has a glove save. There's still lots of time here for the Boston Bruins to get it under pressure. We're getting close to the midway half, midway mark. Another faceoff goes up with the frozen puck. DeBrusque in pursuit. Mass in the neutral zone. Denied by him. Slavin gets it under control. Off to the gutter. He gets it in. Stumped by the goaltender. What a save made by Allmark. Allmark's really gotten some, some pressure. He's doing really well. I mean, look at that. Higher outage. He knows his step. Trocek. Can't pick up the play for two on one attack. McAvoy's got an own, own ball puck. Takes a weak shot and not able to pick up his uh, game. Yeah, it looks like Trocek is not really uh, not very concerning him well. Lately out there, when he was looking for some uh, players to hit on offense, it's too hard for him. He doesn't have the right to, uh, to go right for the puck. Bruins still in the streaking, still trying to find a man average. Watching on offside, Pasternak's covered. Skudgy up. Trocek, fast, still has it delivered. Two on one! Oh, he just lost. He couldn't get the puck recovered. That is a very tough situation out there. Very great pass, but he couldn't, but he's out of control with the puck. He couldn't save it that time, and he wouldn't get a goal anyway. Setsukov passed right back to Skype. Bad release, but fast up there. Carlo trying to, trying to pick up the run, and the play is undertaken. Now the icing is on call for Bruins. You can feel the pressure right now. It looks like they're still trying to figure it out to take the lead. Carolina's got her own, her own board with the offensive faceoff win. Now it gets broken up. Moves over to Federick. Frederick getting in the, in the zone now. And Schnesikov takes a steal. Ago turning in. Off the goal post. Oh my gosh, another save me. This was a tough on inbound for Carolina. They have it. They were going to, uh, they were going to like keep it in, in the plane of their big drive. Well, it's very tough. Not really uh, comfortable at all. Two body checks to be reserved here for the Carolina Canes to stop in there. Now it still comes up with Ajo. Ajo in the attack. Oh, how did he save that puck? Oh my goodness. They're still going again. I can't believe it. And you're telling me that the, uh, the players really had stopped the puck? They were going in heavy traffic. They were really going to hack it up. Anderson stops the puck along the boards. Oh, he gets big, knocked out. He's really trying to handle it off the pressure here. This really stands out for him. That was going to be a very weak on, weak call. Slavin gets knocked out as Nosek has it. And 2 on 1, rushing men. Smith. Stop by the goaltender and goes out of play. And it denies him off the course, just going out of nowhere. 
Chernanese, close around the board. And it won't pick up that play. Wow, big kid on the physical action here on Film Boston. They really have to do it. They definitely do. It's another bigger attacking. They need to have it right. Bergeron, off the goaltender. McAvoy, really working their way along the board. Nitrato up. He a sweepstake. Stopped by the goaltender by Allmark. Stop the clock here at 2.31 as they need to hydrate and get back on ice. Puck is dropped and we are back here for the second period to be on the books. Marchand, Bergeron carries offside. Yeah, it was going to be a very tough one because there's a two-mander here fast in the neutral zone. And that's why, because it was an easy call here going on here for Boston. Carolina wins the faceoff. Nedrutter gets whipped away and it's now turning into offside. This is not going to happen really well. Now the toss is the puck and buck, and now they will have it back on here with just two minutes left. Trocha can't find a man opener. Debrus, right to Marchand. Slump shot, and it's blocked by Cole. Great D. That was a blade skate off the rim. This was like a working play through. Man, tough enough. Second period winding down now as it only carries out a 2 nothing lead. Carolina win another faceoff. DeBrusque in trying to find a man average. Bergeron off the pad it goes deflect wide. Anderson stops again. Last minute left to play here in the second period and this is like a tough out, tough on. Oh, Nikos couldn't save it. Boss along the boards. Now he goes right to Bear. With a shot! That's weak, and it's Olmark stopping the play with just under 30 seconds. Play resumes as it's now under 30 seconds. Martinez got even fogged up by Fogno. All I know really knows his secret. D'Angelo with the rejecting. And he will have to face along the boards. This will carry with the end of the second period. No score for the Bruins, but only one faces off with a 2 nothing lead for Carolina. We'll be right back in the third quarters next after this. It's third period time. This is where it finishes off for the last one to begin. Puck is down and we start the third quarter. Slavin up to Ajo. Go get some number physical out there. This is very like a toughest uh, angle here, just like football players do. Nebrusk in the only offensive now. He's in the slot. Save that puck already! I don't believe it! There is a lot of change up here as Kane's got a lot of time on attacks here, but not for Boston as they are losing their skills to face. McAvoy, Bergeron, off the goaltender pad! Ago's got it across the, against the boards. He takes a shot, and it goes off target. Now it's fast is broken up. It's Marchand with the stake away. And the board, stopped by Anderson. Moves off to Bergeron. Off the goaltender, another pad save made. This is really keeping him in a lot of trouble out there. They want to keep it out of range. Now he puts it quickly over to Ago. 
Now he boosts back to D'Angelo. It's a breakaway. Oh, he just couldn't save it again. No goal for the Bruins. This is keeping it happening again. Well, they definitely did because what happened already? Because of Anderson, he was ready. And he all, all of a sudden what happened? Paula just couldn't save it. Hall in now. The Kings still have the man advantage here to hit, help him out with the offense. Slavin still in the attack. Almost went loose, but still holds on. And he will have to reset it again to try again from the top. Nekas gives out of no, almost out of reach. And he picks up a blocking pass out there. They really have some, a lot of uh, average on defense. What they really need to know, they've got like a, they got to go hard from train to train. Smith knocked down again. Oh boy, this is another uh, not going good here for Boston Bruins so far. They really need some help. No grand advantage, and this will be not be called for icing with the whistle. He still had it in control. Sketchy. He goes along. Harry just says no. Smith stopping the play is Anderson. Oh man, Anderson is looking good out there. He is he's on fire right now. Looking for streaks for him to give him a try. The Bruins take the face-off win. Marchand in along the board, trying to help the man better. And he scores! They are now on the board. Two men shut down, but now this goes right in the third period. The Bruins are on the board, and it's now a 2-1 game in the third. Lots of time here for the Boston Bruins. We're going to see what they can do here. They want to give it another try. Agos faces along again. Moves it quickly over to Pets. Agos still waking awake. Pass over man. It gets broken up. Kane still has it in, contra in contracting. Face another board off. Almost went off on the goaltender. Carlos got him all, all covered up. Marchand with a, with a wraparound. Marchand still has it. The man of it is trying to like stop and swoop. But it's Anderson taking carry. Schnitzikov still has it on, on the other plan on the other hand. Gets knocked down, another aggressive. Fast. Oh, he gets pushed away. He really knows himself. The Canes and Bruins, they stopping the plays up there. This is like a really tough one to make the attack to try to work their way around and go with it instantly. Snetsukov up. His shot's blocked, and it's now turned up again with another, another attacking zone for Boston. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Kane still looking for a pass off. Knocked away. McAvoy to Grayson. McAvoy's got it in the old men. Pashinox is in the new back in, behind the neutral zone. Holler! No, he does not! It goes off the target! Try check up! Two and one! Oh, what a save me by Allmark! Man, I'm in, one on one! And he just can't control it. Necklace has her own end now. Bruins still looking for a chance to tie the game in game three. All of the hall, stopped by Anderson. Anderson really needs. He really knows his strength, but he needs his um, his timing right. So if the puck is coming loose, he has to try again and get right back into work. With the shot off the target here, it's saved off by Omar. 
Oh, got bent down with a weak jam. They're signaling in for help. But the attacker shot with been too weak. Body check him. Oh, he just couldn't stop him. McAvoy to Smith. Try to move back at Master Nooks. Martin Nooks. Lorenz with the bad pass. Frederick getting along the board. And he puts it back on Trocek with, with deflection in the wing. Four board. In the wing. D'Angelo takes a steal. And this is not looking good so far. This is going to be another disappointing effort. A dangerous attack here by the Man of Mans. This really can't stand him. They need something else to go with them. They have to go up with a... They try to like pick up a fight. And the it's their coach's challenge. Allmark has a glove save as they will, they will stop the play left here with 6.53 to go. Tony D'Angelo really have gotten whacked up. And he was bad angle on the board. Looks like the number man is feeling unconscious. We're still under under uh, under seven minutes left here in the, in the hockey game. And it's now Boston taking over with an defensive zone to resume the play. Sergi moves off to Pesk. Stretch up to Snesikov. Moves it quickly to the Taravan. Snesikov. Back to the release. And it's off target. Pesk. And it goes without a broken pass. Marchand looking for some players to get up a, a tie. Block the pass up in front. This really goes out there. They still need some more advantage here. Oh! Almost went off. Oh, Omar just saved it across before the goal went on the air caves. That was close. More than he has? It's nothing but he needs to, to, give, to give it a go. They really still, still looking for a keep out of danger and trouble. Bergeron passes off to Clifton. We're under five minutes left here in the third period, and Bergeron closes off to Clifton. Moves along the pass in the boards. Now he moves quickly to Stahl. Pass broken. Stopped by Anderson. Pass with a two on one, and it's broken up. The Bruins work on their own on a facing attacking grand here. We're under four minutes left to play here in the third quarter of the period. He moves up to Bruce. Oh, he gets blocked by Slavin, and he knocked the man down. Two and two, this really does stand out for Slavin. Riley finds Clifton. Moves to Hollow. Gets breezed up. Hall with the other end. And it goes with the block out of control. Katemi with the puck. Moves to D'Angelo as he is all conscious up, but he's ready for more. The Dreader. Back to Lorenz. D'Angelo. He shoots. Off the goaltender it goes. And now they're going to bring the uh, another man advantage out there. Off the goal, and this one goes right into the boards. Off pad out there. Just off pad. This really does stand out the bite. He finds Alvo with the shot. He scores! That's another goal. 25 goals a season, and now he's on the board. What up to resist the communication out there. This is why Apo has never done his facing time off, and there was no penalty being called here in between. It was only fighting that did happen. Carolina Kings have reached it and try to sweep their way to a Game 3 victory if they try to pull him back in front. Now they have the man advantage here, adding another skater. It's off on Anderson! 
Wow, what a save! And this is going to be a bad and bad angle. We always know that make it snappies on Marchant. They still have some uh, man advantage out there. They need to get right to work. They need to keep moving. But their time is running out. Riley DeMarco Boy. Off to Bergeron. Shot. Off the goaltender it goes. And Turbain fires the puck across. This will give it off to an icing. With a period that the feeling can be a distressful for Boston, it may be Carolina facing up with the lead. Off it goes! Oh, how did Anderson save it? That was another one to go right by it. And the puck runs back and deep enough, and this will be another icing to face it, but not this time. Oh, he scores! Two goals in the game. And this game is over for the Boston Bruins. Oh man, this is what everyone's feeling. Otto, like a big dreamer. He's like bringing things down. That's all he had. Pasternak gets out of gluckiness. And Trocek will come out. Pass the puck to D'Angelo. Nitretter. Back to Slavin, and that will do it. Hurricanes take the lead series 2-1 over to Boston Bruins. This is like a hard out play out there. They know that the Hurricanes are so good. They have a higher man advantage, and they really like to sweep things up, put up in the wind, and they wanted to go for it. What a terrific night here in the Eastern Conference playoffs of the Boston and the Canes. And we stick back later that we will take it off. We will see the next game back in the Eastern Conference game still. And we will check out the uh, Atlantic Division here as the Panthers will play against the Washington Capitals at Washington. Now it's time to present the three star players of the game. That's two start it off. Number three, we have the Sebastian Ajo. Two goals only, and with the empty netter, he knows his way through. That is all it took. Number two is Jacob Slavin. One goal, one assist, and five hits. Without any craziness enough, this all turns out, this is whatever happens with the goal, and that comes in with a huge stopper. And number one is Anderson. 33 saves, 0.971 percentage of his saving ability. He was in he was a goat. He is stone and he knows his skills. So that ends it up here for the Eastern Conference Stanley Cup playoffs. And we'd like to thank you all for watching for this part. Stay tuned for the next couple games as we will have the Eastern Conference start up first. Panthers against the Capitals. And then back in the Eastern Conference. To Western Conference, we will have the next matchup, as it will be the Blues to face up against the Calgary Flames in St. Louis. So, thank you all for joining for us for this M of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Until next time, peace out, everyone. For a while, as the Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL 22 dial. So, me and Tustube are gone. Thank you for joining us here for this game of Eastern Conference first round of the NHL. Thank you for watching, and see you all next time. Good night, folks.